Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. I hope things are going well for you. Wherever you are, whatever you're up to, I hope you're having fun, taking care of yourself, and hanging out with people that you like. Bit of an update, uh, everything's ticking along really well here, the pumpkin plant's going well, but what I did do, and this is what I know you really want to see, is I went and checked out Tim's patch last week. So we're here with Tim, uh, we're checking out his patch. How's the 2018 season looking for you, Tim, so far? Yeah, look, we've had a... Sorry. Tim loves the oh, camera. Yeah. <laughs> we're, make, uh, we're making this video at Tim's patch. He's a uh, two-time New Zealand uh, record holder for giant pumpkins. Current record is 789.5 kilos. Uh, we weighed that at Hamilton Gardens at the Great Pumpkin Carnival. And he's consistently growing the biggest pumpkins around. Last year didn't quite beat the record, but we're hoping, or Tim is, that this year he'll be able to recreate that and hopefully crack is it over 900 that you're keen to? Well, 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds? Yep, just over 900 kilos. So we're making this video, we're checking out the patch. Uh, I know some people want to see it. Um, hi Shane. So this year, 2018, um, I'm growing uh, 2145 and uh, 1975 and my own seed 1487. Um, yeah. Are you going with um, standard like Christmas tree type pattern for the vines? Uh, for my two plants, yes. Um, later vines for the pumpkin, I tend to grow forward. Um, but yes, basically a Christmas tree um, to start with anyway. Very good. Uh, Are you using any new products this year you haven't used previously? No, much the same. Um, probably the only additional one I'm using is uh, a product called Companion. Yeah, uh, that was a bit hard to get, eh? From what uh, I understand? Well, in small quantities it is. Yes. Yeah, that's a big problem here in New Zealand for uh, giant pumpkin growers. And this year marks the first time that you're using the pot method. I yep. guess that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? I guess so. Um, How's that going? Oh, it's early days at the moment. Theory's definitely there. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So the theory is, instead of burying the vines like traditional, you have a pot full of product of some type, and you put that upside down on top of the leaf axis and that helps with the vine and the growth? Yeah, I guess it's just um, keeping a reasonable amount of um, damp or wet soil on top, um, which is encouraging that secondary root. But last year I had big issues with birds playing with uh, little mounds of dirt that I had there. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of secondary growth, uh, secondary rooting last year because of that. What product are you putting into your pots? It's just a product I get from Dalton's, uh, it's called Dalton's um, garden mix they call it, um, which is basically what my patch is made up of, um, so, so it's basically exactly the same product. So there's nothing else chucked in there, no micro or anything? Uh, sorry, there is micro, um, I put it on the vine first, um, the tea one. yeah, trichodermia yeah, or whatever yeah, it's called, yeah, I have yeah, trouble that pronouncing that one, uh, that's also put in the uh, pots as well. You've got the drip tape down this year. Um, have you done anything different with that setup? No, exactly the same setup as I've had for, or well, since I've been in this patch, uh, two or three years. Yeah, and it's working well for me. And this patch has been extended this year. Yeah, it's just another five meters longer. Another five meters yeah. longer, which is crazy uh, for me because I'm growing in the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch. Which, uh, how many square meters was it? Was it three square meters or something? Something like that. Something like that. And here's Tim just adding on an extra five, so. That's the two uh, extreme levels of giant pumpkin growing. You might be somewhere in between, uh, but whatever, wherever you are, don't let it put you off. Just keep watering the plants and doing your best and seeing what the biggest pumpkin is that you can grow. So, how good was that? That's great. Thanks for having me out there, Tim. I'll catch up with him throughout the growing season. I'm hoping to catch up with some other growers around the places as well. So, if you're a grower that's in New Zealand or nearby, flick me an email or get in touch and we'll see what we can do or I'll catch up with you at your local way off, wherever that may be. So I'm looking into uh, going to quite a few different places, hopefully uh, when they kick off. As you can see, it's nice and sunny. Apparently the weather service uh, is saying that later on we're gonna get thunderstorms and possibly, well, a lot of rain and possibly hail between five to 15 millimeters. That's about quarter to half an inch. Now if that happens, 
I'm hoping it doesn't because it could potentially destroy the pumpkin plant. We don't normally get hail like that here, so it's going to be a bit of a freak event, I think. Onto the pumpkin. I have cut that vine to stop it going any further. I don't want it going over there. These side vines here are coming out and the rest of the plant's looking pretty good. It's a little bit dirty because I trimmed all this grass with a weed eater and it's covered so I need to hose it down. Need to do a little bit of weeding in there and um, probably some vine burying on that side. So uh, there was no rain, uh, no real hail. Well, no rain, definitely no hail last night. So the plant's all good. Looks like there might be rain now coming soon, maybe tonight. But um, there's the plant. Going to fertilize them, give us some food and also the miniatures and check that out. I also installed a pressure reducer for the irrigation, so that works fine. Uh, for Christmas and New Year's, I'll be spending some time in Rotorua. I'll be spending some time here. And then in January, I'm away for another week. So we'll see how all that goes. And I'll have some more updates for you as the vlog continues throughout the growing season here in New Zealand. Make sure to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, giantpumpkins.co.nz, the website where everything is, and you can see all the blog and vlog updates there. And if you haven't yet subscribed, if you just went below, click subscribe, and then that way you'll see every time I update. Also, if you want to leave a comment, I'd love for you to leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up, see what you reckon, and uh, until next time, have a great safe time through Christmas and New Year's.